Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Anu's Hobby Lobby. In this video, I'm going to share with you all tofu fried rice. I've shared a few other recipes of fried rice on my channel, so I'll be giving all the details in description as well as the links above. Let's start making tofu fried rice. Uh, so for this, I am using a soft tofu. You can very well use the firm one as well. So there is a little bit difference between soft and firm. So as the name says, uh, this is a little bit softer than the firm tofu. So make sure you thaw it if you refrigerate or freeze it, and then you take out the excess water from it. So that is the main step in tofu. Otherwise, you won't be getting the nice and uh, good texture. So cut it into desired uh, portions, size as per your choice. So I have cut into small cubes, like one inch cubes. Make uh, it ready. Add it into a bowl. Everything, how much ever tofu you need to in order to make this tofu fried rice. So I'm adding uh, one tablespoon of red chili powder and uh, uh, salt as per your taste, and two teaspoons of corn flour and some olive oil or a regular cooking oil should be good enough. Just mix it using the spoon. So once you give it a good mix, then uh, this mixture is ready. Set for uh, like about two to three minutes aside. Once you mix everything, and then we'll take a air fryer tray. Uh, add a parchment paper on top so that it won't be sticking onto the tray if uh, you feel that the uh, air fryer tray is uh, getting so greasy. This is the way you can you know it's, it will be very easy to uh, cook. So just add some oil on top and then we'll turn on air fryer at 350 Fahrenheit uh, for 10 minutes at first. Once after 10 minutes you can see it's almost done. You can just uh, try to turn it on to the other side and uh, again turn on for another 5 minutes. Meanwhile it's air frying, uh, we'll take a wok and add uh, 3 tablespoons of olive oil into it. So for fried rice you can either use sesame oil or olive oil that will give a very good taste and I'm using one medium size onion. Cut into small thin slices and then now at this point we'll add about uh, two green chilies or as per your taste and also half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix it well together. Do not overcook any of the veggies for fried rice and also uh, the space how you're where you're cooking your fried rice is very important so this wok is very big enough and uh, it gives a uh, you know a lot of space and heat uh, in order to cook the fried rice and you can uh, add any of the vegetables of your choice so i'm using uh, some cubed uh, carrots capsicum as well as uh, green peas uh, so i'm using frozen green peas here so uh, it's your choice so uh, you can use the fresh one as well and uh, half teaspoon of coriander powder and some curry masala powder as well uh, we can use here so i have uh, shared the curry masala powder on my channel earlier i'll be leaving a link in the description and above you can watch anytime uh, watching this video and then uh, we'll be adding uh, the cooked rice so i'm using uh, basmati rice one cup of basmati rice so i've used rinse and pot to cook this uh, so one is to 1.2 is the water ratio which i use for cooking on manual uh, we can cook for six minutes so that way it will be very fluffy so make sure the rice is cooled down before you add it into the fried rice so these are the important details and once you add the rice uh, then you can add uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce as well as uh, one teaspoon of uh, distilled vinegar chili garlic paste uh, we can add over here this is optional this gives a nice uh, flavor as well as color to your fried rice so it's totally optional instead you can add a little bit of uh, black pepper powder uh, or even some chili powder as well but otherwise uh, this should be good and then uh, check the taste and at last we'll be adding this air fried uh, tofu and uh, make sure you're cooking in on high flame so that uh, you know uh, the heat will be 
distributed all over uh, equally and when you're eating you can feel the heat uh, so this will be very good uh, so with the added protein and at last you just garnish with some uh, chopped uh, spring onion uh, so this is all ready to serve i hope you enjoyed watching this video do leave a comment how you like this fried rice making uh, by using air fryer and also little bit of tips which i have uh, mentioned uh, over uh, in the video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like and share thank you very much for watching